Astronomers have discovered a mysterious object being dragged by the black hole at the center of our galaxy. This object has been named X7 and could be 50 times more massive than the Earth. The images of X7 reveal that it's on the brink of being ripped apart by the supermassive black hole. Astronomers predict that this event may occur within the next two decades, potentially leading to energetic flares emanating from the black hole. But the origins of X7 remain a source of great mystery and intrigue for scientists. What's the exact nature of this mystery object? How did it get so close to the galactic center? Finally, and most importantly, why is the understanding of the origin and the fate of X7 so critical for astronomers? The galactic center is roughly 8 kiloparsecs away from Earth, in the direction of the Sagittarius and Scorpius constellations. This is where the Milky Way appears brightest in the sky. At the center of this region lies a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A star, with a mass several million times that of our Sun. Within a mere one parsec of the galactic center, there is an incredibly dense region containing over 10 million stars, primarily consisting of red giants, with a significant number of massive supergiants and wolf rayet stars. However, this region is not just home to stars. Several smaller structures are also orbiting the black hole, one of which is X7. X7 is a colossal cloud of gas and dust currently orbiting Sagittarius A star on an elliptical path. Recent studies suggest that X7 may never complete a full orbit around the galactic center. The reason behind this is the unique evolution that it has undergone over the years. When scientists first observed X7 using the Keck Observatory in 2002, it displayed a comet-like shape, possibly due to the impact of stellar winds or jets of particles from the black hole. Researchers have witnessed significant changes in X7's shape over the last two decades. The black hole's strong gravitational pull has stretched it into an elongated shape, more than double its original size. To be precise, X7 has grown from a width of 0.25 arcseconds in 2003 to over 0.4 arcseconds in 2021, corresponding to a spread of around 3,300 astronomical units. That's 3,300 times the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. In the previous epochs, X7 appeared to have a flared tail. However, since 2006, this feature has vanished as the cloud inclined more toward a linear shape. A higher resolution near-infrared image has recently revealed that the ridge of X7 is fragmenting. Furthermore, as X7 moves across the sky and stretches in length, its internal radial velocity structure has undergone significant changes. Over the last 15 years, the tip of this dust cloud has decelerated by approximately 200 kilometers per second. In summary, X7 has undergone dramatic changes in the past two decades, unlike any other object in the region. However, to some extent, it shares similarities with G objects. These mysterious blobs discovered about a couple of decades ago orbit the galactic center and resemble clouds of gas and dust but possess properties of star mass objects. In other words, G objects appear like gas clouds but behave like stars. A near-infrared image captured with the NIRC2 imager at the Keck Observatory displays the relative positions of the two G objects, G2 and G3, along with X7 and Sagittarius A star. Similar to X7, the G objects also follow an almost elliptical orbit, as evident from this figure in the research paper. Despite sharing some physical and orbital similarities with the G objects, X7's shape and velocity have undergone more drastic changes. As it accelerates towards the black hole, it moves at breakneck speeds of up to 1100 kilometers per second. 
If X7's current trajectory is considered, it will make its closest approach to the supermassive black hole in 2036. When it reaches this point, something truly remarkable will happen. The cloud's components will become progressively spaghettified, drawn into a spiral, much like an object being pulled down a drain, but at speeds of up to 800 kilometers per second. Following this process, the object will be torn apart before it can complete even a single orbit around Sagittarius A star. Finally, this violent spectacle will cause the black hole to light up like fireworks. But wait a minute, isn't a black hole supposed to swallow everything, even photons? So how can it light up? Here's the twist. It's not the black hole itself that's glowing, but the material being sucked into it. Before gas enters the black hole, it gets heated up by immense gravitational forces, causing it to glow, much like a toaster element. The light emitted is mainly X-rays, but it can sometimes include visible light. Since this light is emitted before the gas enters the black hole, it can escape, resulting in a spectacular light show that resembles fireworks. However, the fate of G-objects is quite different. Despite stretching out at the periastron, they remain intact forming a more compact object to continue their orbit rather than being sucked into the black hole. This unique dynamic makes the study of X7 objects all the more exciting. Although X7's exact origin is still debatable, many speculations have been discussed about its formation. For instance, one possible mechanism suggests that X7 came into existence due to the formation of dense clumps in colliding stellar winds. Another possibility hints at ordinary collisions between isolated objects, like red giants having large cross-sections. Depending on the relative velocity of the collision partners, even a Jupiter-mass object flying through the atmosphere of a red giant could unbind a mass comparable to that of X7. However, these collisions would also leave the red giant in a distended and dynamically agitated state which could appear as G-objects for a much longer timescale than the observable lifetime of the unbound ejecta. Thus, producing an X7-like feature in this manner could be accompanied by producing a G-object. But collisions between red giants and main sequence stars are rare, occurring only once every 100,000 years in a galactic center-like environment. This makes the recent production of X7 in this way improbable. It's possible that X7 comprises the dust and gas ejected from a merged star still out there somewhere. Nonetheless, nothing can be said for sure at this stage. Exploring the extreme environment at the center of our galaxy is a fascinating and challenging task. The precise analysis of the remarkable changes experienced by X7, the enigmatic object at the heart of the Milky Way, is a crucial part of this study. While one possible scenario points to a sufficiently strong magnetic field as a direct cause of X7's morphology and orientation, many questions remain unanswered. To unravel the mystery surrounding X7, the team is continually monitoring its dramatic fate using the Keck Observatory. As the gravity of the black hole wrenches it apart, astronomers will gain valuable insights into the complex dynamics of structures around supermassive black holes. Recently, astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery, the first ever dark galaxy that emits no light. If you miss this intriguing episode, be sure to catch up on this discovery.